Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Roll with Bolin. It's me, Tim Bolin. Listen, I get to do a lot of eating on this show, and so much so, a lot of you eagle eye viewers out there will stop me on the streets or when you're driving by, yell out the window, hey Tim, what you eat today, bud? Well, bud, <laughs> I'm eating a lot today because this episode is all about chowing down and showing off all the sweet food wonders in Southern Ontario and the talented chefs behind them. From main courses to local fairs to tasty desserts, all starts right now. Look at these digs. I think it's a pretty good place to start the show. Speaking of nice backyards, let's check in with our buddy Ted Reeder, known as the godfather of the grill because he's got a doozy of a backyard because honestly, I think he's got like 50 barbecues back there that he uses all the time. Spinning up some of the old classics with his own little twist while also providing some tips and tricks for all you wannabe barbecuers. Teddy Reader. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, so, you doing? so it's local food week. We, had, we, we, we created this, when we say we, you, Ted. You've done nothing so far. <laughs> Just You're holding the mic. Chasing you around. Oh, what are you doing now, Ted? Okay, but it's local food week, so we're, we're promoting all the wonderful local food. It's June, there's so much going on. There's something in here. Any guesses on what it is? Local? It's meat? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I know you know. I, I was trying to, to try, try to like that, that, the suspense. Oh, the suspense. Build, building the suspense. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. okay, so one little tip, just a barbecue tip when you're working with Kamados. So if anybody out there in barbecue land, you just bought a Kamado and you want to learn something, here's about a Kamado. Or a big green egg? Big green egg is a little bit. A big green egg is a Kamado. Oh, that's oh. So this is the style. It's a Kamado. And you cook in it. It's ceramic, but some are made with metal and they hold the heat. But the thing is, when you go to open them, if you just treat them like a gas grill. Here's a gas grill. It's on. You open it up. You got heat, right? But gases build up in this egg. And when it's really hot, there's a lot of gases. And if you just fling it open, you're going to get a gush of flame. And you're gonna burn your face. So it's a thing called the burp. the burp. And all you do is this, lift it up three inches, burp it, count one, two, three, and then you can open it up. Whoa. So you'll add everything else. So what we got going on in here, chocolate chili smoked turkey drumsticks. And uh, it's kind of a killer recipe. We made a brine and I threw in some orange. There's some craft beer in there turkey drumsticks, some onions, some garlic, some fresh sage, you can put whatever, and salt. 24 hours in the brine. So how do we know when they're done? So, easiest way, where is it? In, got, in my pocket, thermometer. He's, he's always pulling stuff out of his pocket. There's so many things in your pocket. He's got a thermometer, so we're gonna insert it, 200 degrees, we're doing beauty. What do we want? We want it up there. You want, you, you could actually, we could take this out even a little earlier, like at 195. Okay. Chocolate syrup. Okay. Hoisin, all right? We got a little bit of uh, apple butter, soy sauce. Are you, put, are you putting these recipes somewhere? Where can people find these You're recipes? gonna find this at uh, tedreader.com. This recipe is actually on uh, ontarioturkey.ca, sure. and you'll find it there, and then all you do is this, right? You take your brush, and you give them a base just before they come out. Just like that, grab a drumstick, grab a drumstick. Right, take it like that. Okay. Pick her up. Oh, we're picking it up. Okay. Picking it up. It's hot. Yeah. Go. Okay. All oh, right. I have like. <laughs> Your fingers are a little bit more. Okay. Hold them up. There we go. From the Godfather of the Grill to the Master of the Grill. Shoot. Shouldn't be cooking my weenies at 6:50. Luke, that one's yours. Well, let's kind of move on from my skills to the skills of Michael P. Clive, our good buddy from the Weber Grill Academy. He's the grill master. He knows how to cook up a weenie dog. He also knows how to spin up some tasty menus for every occasion. And we've hung out a lot, done tons of stuff in the past. I thought I knew everything about him. Turns out I'm missing one thing. Welcome to Flavor Country. In the backyard, uh, the grill master from uh, Weber. Yeah. Michael B. Clive's. Hey, um, I don't ever ask, what's the P stand for? Oh, uh, Patrick. Oh, does it? Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. 
Anyway. Good. All right. Glad we got to the bottom of that. Yeah. Because it's been like six years and I've never yeah. asked you. So. I wish I had something better to say. <laughs> I, I, and it's not the first time I've been asked. But anyway. I have been put in charge of zesting back here at the Weber Grill Academy with the grill master, Michael P. Clive himself. Yes! Jim, yeah. less talk, more zesting. Zest, boy. All right, I'm closing the lid because we all know here at the Weber Grill Academy, lid down grilling is the way we like it because looking isn't cooking. cooking. You know your hot little sausage fingers can melt down the precious fats, making your burger less tender. Sausage fingers. Sausage. And so with that, he mixes it nicely together, and then from there, he's gonna portion the patty. As we grilled it just like a traditional burger, we grab that patty, and it's heavy. <laughs> Oh, oh and man. We now, very carefully, take it back to the table. Oh my gosh, it looks heavy. Let's get it up. Get it up here. And I'm coming in for the holder. This oh, is the holder. Get her in there. Oh, give me a hand here. Yeah. Excalibur! It's about sharing. It's about having a good time at the party. It's about moving around and getting a little messy. Getting a lot messy. That's it. Where are they, where are they finding these recipes? Huh? Mm. Yeah, they're coming to the Weber Grill Academy uh, and visiting us. They're going to your website mm -hmm. at CH Morning Live, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. CHCH mm -hmm. dot CA mm -hmm. com <laughs> dot com. And you'll get all the recipes there and many more. In all seriousness. Oh, we're getting serious? I always take great pleasure in knowing that you're coming here with cameraman Luke, where we get to bond and grill together. Yeah, this man. is the most I, fun I, form. It's been a year since I've done this. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> So you probably see now why I hang out with some talented chefs because this is what I produce on my grill. Some things way overcooked, there's some undercooked things in there and a dash of color. Next up on our Chow Down Tour, it's our buddy John Forcier, who's a member of the Hamilton restaurant, The French, but he's also, or he was the executive chef of the Equal Parts Hospitality. I say was because every time I see him, he has a different title, or at least I think so. Where do I go here? Let's get that out of the way. This guy's still here? This guy's still here. He and I are kicking, still kicking. What's his title now? He said so many titles. No, 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 guys. don't so ask. Just give me a new one. Oh, yeah. I always give him a new title. Yoda, Yoda's fine. Yoda, but yeah, okay. that's it. Uh, I always go, executive chef, John Forcier? Director of culinary. Oh, of wow, stepping up his game. Ooh, fancy. You're always concocting beautiful dishes and showing us how you're doing it. Uh, what do you got in front of us this morning? So this is our update on the old butternut squash ravioli. So we've done a butternut squash puree around the outside. The filling is now a brown butter uh, lemon ricotta in the middle of the annulati. Some crispy fried Brussels tossed in a vegan maple aioli. You're really starting to be like getting me to like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> it's, 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 it's taken some time, Johnny boy, but it's uh, it's coming. Well, I mean, you know, cook them in butter, cook them in oil, preferably, you know, deep fried in oil or butter. <laughs> yes, fries the key. Very, very big change from how I would assume both our moms made them, certainly mine. Yes, definitely. Love you, mom. All this beautiful fresh veg. We're cheating a little bit while we're doing testing, but by the time this hits the menu, peas are gonna be in season, fava beans are gonna be in season. Like all this beautiful springtime veg is going to be ready to go for us. What are you making? So this is hopefully, uh, unless you tell me it's bad, going to be our new salmon dish. So it's uh, pan. Oh, we're the official salmon. taste testers. You're the official tasters. I'll take it. So if you don't like it, then we're going to have to change it. But it's, is it frowned upon if you're just like? If you're cooking with them, no. <laughs> I try not to taste with them on mine. Right. Or on TV. Yeah. Because people are really good at. Uh, Keeping me in line when I do that. Yeah, they're gonna blow up your uh, Twitter. Oh, they will. That goes right on top. And uh, you get to tell me if this is our new salmon dish or not. We get to try that. 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 You making anything else? Can I ruin this? Yeah, go for it. Let's ruin this. With nice There's no point crunch. making it. You, no! You ruin it. Right? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Okay. Uh, cheers. <laughs> The restaurants of Hamilton, Halton, and Niagara, those aren't the only spots to get some delicious grub. Local fairs, hey, you can get some there too. And actually, after being off for the past couple of years, they are back and better than ever. Niagara region, well, it's known for its bountiful and beautiful fruits and veggies, but it's serious work until comedian Eric Johnston stops by. I got no direction here. You just handed me a peach and a knife. That, that knife, knife is kind of big. Eric. Okay. 